how to add a language switcher to your shopify store hey everyone and welcome i hope you're all doing great this is going to be a very simple tutorial and i will show you exactly how we can add a language switcher to our shopify store without using any third-party applications we are just going to be using whatever shopify has to offer so this is actually going to be very simple and easy to do and what we are trying to achieve here is we have a language switcher up top here uh, or if we just go to a product page, it's just going to translate stuff that are, uh, you know, by default. For example, the name of the product is not going to be translated. But then, for example, these buttons are going to be translated and so on. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do so very easily. First, you will need to just go ahead and open up your Shopify admin. And then from here, you will need to just go ahead and click on the settings down below at the bottom left. From here, you will need to just go ahead and scroll down a little bit until you find the languages option on the bottom left. Click on that. And then from here, you will have uh, the opportunity to add any language that you want. So just go ahead and click on add a language. And then from here, you would want to select the language that you want. I'm just going to go ahead and select Arabic for the first one and click on add. And now it should be added over here yet not applied yet and i'm just going to add another one let's just go ahead and say spanish so let's just click on letter s and try to find spanish right here and obviously we will just click on uh, add and now we can just go ahead and click on translate here and translate and adapt uh, this is just going to take us to the translation uh, application here where we can just go ahead and set up stuff uh, I'm not really going to go ahead and do much except auto translate on the top right, but you can also get more in depth here. It's completely up to you. Uh, if you want to go through each a section here and go through the translations for yourself, or you can just feel free feel free to auto translate all of it, uh, and it should it couldn't actually take a little bit of time as you can see. So I'm just going to skip this step and show you exactly what we need to do after we are done with the translation uh, option here. Uh, so let's just go back to settings and go to the languages option here. And what we need to do is just go ahead and click on uh, the three dots and click on publish after it's done translating. Same goes, same goes for Spanish. So we are just going to publish the Spanish one as well. And once that's done, we are just going to open up our Shopify store. And now we can actually see that we have the language switcher on the top right. And we have the Arabic and Spanish one here as well. So if we just click on Arabic, um, we can see already that it is working. Uh, it's still not translating everything yet because it does take a little bit of time. Uh, it does even translate the um, product names apparently. So that's also something that you need to look out for so if you don't really want that you may want to set it up from within the settings that we just saw uh, but you can see the buttons are going to change and everything is going to be changing uh, so let's just go ahead and try spanish here and even spanish even though we did not translate stuff um, a lot of it is going to be translated the default stuff at least but yeah this is pretty much how to do so hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching